What is going on guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here. In Define Agile, our goal is to move 1 million teams for Agile transformation. We do it through trainings, through videos, and today we're doing through teaching you how to use Jira effectively. So, uh, the question I'm asked a lot is, Anatoly, in Scrum there's a backlog, so it's very easy to manage all your issues. In Kanban, if you look at my screen right now, the backlog is inside of the active board. If you have thousands or hundreds of issues, it looks very crowded and people don't usually like it and it makes you distracted. So is there a way to move those issues to a separate backlog like we have in any Scrum project? My answer is yes, and in this very short tutorial, I will show you how to do that. Let's get right into it. So. Whenever we want to do anything about the board, we usually go to a board settings. So we click on a three dots. We click on a board settings. Then we click on a columns if you are not already there. And if you look at those columns, you might already see the hint here, Kanban backlog. It says board is getting full. Why don't you put some statuses in here and have your backlog as separate. So all we need to do is to drag the backlog status from the backlog swim lane to the backlog. As soon as you did that, you might already notice that on your left pane panel, you will have a backlog menu item. So let's click on it. It didn't exist before, now it does exist. So this uh, helps you to create a separate backlog the same way you have in your Scrum project. If I would create a new issue, you issue two. It will automatically be created in my backlog. If I want to move something for the development, I can just move it up. Same way in a Scrum project, move for sprints. And then if I go to my Kanban board, you might see there's no backlog anymore, but stuff for development is a status that I can move stuff into. So it's very useful. It doesn't get bored so crowded. It looks more it looks better for product owners to prioritize things. For development team, they don't see this huge board with lots of issues get them stressed out. They only see stuff that are ready for them to go to development. So it's a very good idea if you're not using Kanban Backlog yet to start using it as soon as possible. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. Subscribe to this channel because I'm doing this for you. I appreciate you watching that. Thank you very much. If you need my help with the Jira, me and my team can help you. Just go to defineagile.com, schedule free consultation. Let's see how can we can help your business. Well, again, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.